Hello, world. Hello, world. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a dramatic Hello. entrance. <laughs> there we go. Oh, All right. I think I almost, I think that was more suspense than dramatic. <sighs> it was. Right. We already. <laughs> Y'all us. Yo, shut up. We want to come in with that heat. Hey, hey. Let me Hello. do the entrance. Hello, yeah. world. Hello, internet world. That's what's all up. Right. That whole internet world. That's Yo. a lot of niggas, boy. It is. <laughs> We've been lot of, that's out of commission for one month, and now we're ready to go back and talk to even hoods. We back in action. Podcast. We back like Tyson, bro. Yes. Yo, he's stronger than ever. Duh. Damn, you don't hear, don't, you cut, feel don't me? sleep on the Tyson. Nah, now. duh. Yo, he's, I really want to see that um Tyson and... um. I don't know who you fighting. Nah, I just know I, whoever I don't know it is. If it's, I don't know if it's Frazier or like one, one of the older boxers. Like He's like... He posted a, a video of himself too, but like, nah, Tyson look like he'll take yeah, him. Yeah, he still look. This episode of TV Nerds is brought to you by Cool Comics and Games. Go get all your games and comics there. I promise you, you will not regret it. If you play Yu Gi Oh! or Pokemon, I swear to God, I would demolish you. Not really, but please get your games and comics there. It'll be great. If you don't go there, I swear to God, I will find you. We now return to your regular programming. You can just say that like, you're not growing hair or something. I need some. And then hit you with that testosterone. And because of that. What? It was one mic that went on. <coughs> Look. It's been, a, Dang, it's been a long month. It's been a long Who month. Who mic was it? It was mine. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Like, Y'all missed my hello internet world? Like, nah, we still got all that. Oh, okay. yeah. so, you just, so you just clicking in to sync your mic in afterwards. So I mean, we of course. Know that is selfish. You. Nah, because I've been learning. He's been uh-huh. teaching. Uh-huh. He be like, on the edit. <laughs> on the edit. Oh, but not yeah, Joe, yeah. Joe Rogan explained that like hormones that like you take for like just when you get to a certain age because like shit's like not run like yeah, it should. Right. Yeah. Well, well like superly like boost your like like a shot you know, of adrenaline. Kind of, but know? like it's like a constant one because like All your right, body. Just needs to elaborate it. on what he's talking about, they used to do this. Before uh, USADA got into this, so yeah, that's beforehand the guy. they used to give them the testosterone replacement therapy. Yeah, and we had this guy called TRT uh, Vitor. He used to knock Yo, the was, eye out. He what was wild, fuck? son. Yeah, he had muscles so, on top so of muscles. He started as an original <laughs> UFC fighter back in the day when it was just you right. Go for a full cup of balls. <laughs> <You could just laughs> twist them, mm, grab his ah, balls, yo, twist them. There's a, there's a fight. You, 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 you go on hair. You he pull hair back then. He was in a choke like this. And he did, he just went. <laughs> and the referee was like, nah, Sound legal. Nah, nah. <laughs> so um, so over the years, he's fought and won numerous championships, and he's losing body mass. So they came in with this rule for like two years. Yeah. TRT, Vitor, son, he was, I advise eating anybody to go watch them, bro. TRT, Vitor. That nigga is scary. He would, he would, it was like one round, like the, it, it started. He just got chipped up in the face. The dude didn't know where it was coming from. Mm-hmm. He got roundhouse kicked and was out. Mm-hmm. And Yo. no one expected his explosiveness. Joe, UFC back in the day was crazy. Dog, when um, Royce Gracie was in it, bro, dude, he, you could pull hair. You could, like, dude. There was literally a fight with Royce Gracie. He, like, got, he had a guy in his, um, <clears throat> what's, it call, what's it called? It's in, oh, yeah, in his guard. And. Yeah. He literally pulled his guy's pump. The guy was like, like they didn't have weight classes back then. So he mm-hmm. was just, Royce Gracie is just this little guy. He's fighting this huge, huge heavyweight. Sometimes you got to pull hair. Puts him in the guard, pulls his hair. The man pulled his whole ponytail off. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know what no. I'm saying? But it's the same with any sport. Like, the and the NBA yeah. is the same shit with the NBA. Like, they, every oh, year. Oh, yeah, they, they were choking. Up, what? Yeah. You get yo, the elbow. That, do- yo, that, do- that, um, elbow. that, yes, that, elbow. that Jordan documentary, man. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Back then. Yo, back then, they let so it much shit slide in the NBA. Now they're like, foul like foul and he, you, fouls, you look at somebody wrong. Rip. Oh, that's a foul. Like, I mean, that that is kind of why. That's, and that's really why people have been saying, like, you know, can LeBron, you know, handle himself in Jordan's era? But honestly. No. 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 Really? So? Bro, you're pampered honestly, no, by no, referees. No, I'm saying, like, with his athletic, athleticism and everything, like, and his basketball IQ, if all that in his, Jordan's era, he could survive. I All think right. he could. Are we placing him from what he knows now in Jordan's era? Like he just goes back in time? 
or just, is he like, like like fresh off of high school like LeBron? He's like, just doing it in Jordan's time, growing up in that era. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's not—he doesn't know anything. Yeah, I see what you're it, uh, it changes. I mean, he still aspect. Yeah, knew, I mean, he still knew stuff like you know when he was first coming up. Yeah, he just he just became more developed as an athlete. But I mean, the uh, the norm of the game of how the basketball was played then with. Jordan, I think, Pippen, I, I and it's, think it's honest, different now with Kobe. Nah, and, yeah, but I think, yeah. honestly, we would just would have saw a more abres- aggressive LeBron. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like insane. you would. The, the, then the question is, he'd be better than Jordan. You know what I mean? Because if he's doing this now, pampering. See, I'm not, I'm not educated in basketball enough to have okay. that conversation. But, yeah. I mean. I think he would adapt. I th- That's I think, what I'm saying. I think he adapt. would adapt. I think he would adapt. Like adapt. Like the same thing. Like even when um Shaq was like talk because I know it's I watched this one like clip where Shaq was, um, talk, was talking That's with um, saying, yeah. Stephen, Stephen A. Smith and he was just saying you know like I think they asked him the same question but he was saying like you know when he came in the game Shaq I mean Shaq learned from you know someone else like from that from that from that other era mm-hmm. about, and you know he was just like okay you know I'm gonna be aggressive I'm gonna be you know just you know being aggressive with guys but, but now but nowadays it's like anyone who's looking back at Shaq, like you know it's just you can't it's a different way of playing yeah. it's also yeah. the butterfly effect you know when you think about it one little thing can affect a thousand things so it's all bringing mm-hmm. it you, you have so many factors you also got to think about um the fact mm-hmm. that for example uh the teams the amount of teams that there are right now in the nba was like, oh, um, yeah. you know, th- it was a we lot didn't have that many. Yeah. They didn't yeah. have a no, lot no, of things. had like 13 when you super, uh, yeah. what was it, mm-hmm. Techno Ball mm-hmm. came out? It was like 13 or 16 teams. Now they got like that fucking. Was like 30 or something. Yeah, like that, they got like 30, 30, 40 something. 30s? I can't remember. Yeah. At the same time, though, so you many, your lineups for teams, though, were way more legendary than, than the, you but, know what I'm saying? But you only had a few teams. Yeah. Like, now you so gotta that's, fight, yeah. on that, that's the reason why Jordan gets more respect. Sorry, it's 46 teams. Yeah. It, versus yeah. the other people. There's people fu- that's got yeah. 10 championship rings. Right, Larry Bird. Yeah, but he didn't have to go through yeah, he no it, I think hell it's, of a mountain. On. He didn't. He just had there, was a lot of ta- there wasn't a lot of talent. Yeah. Like, but Larry there was Bird. talent, but there wasn't like it wasn't, not everybody. Not, it's like it wasn't so saturated. Was just, you know, it wasn't so yeah. saturated to the point where, like, if you weren't amazing, okay, thirty like, you teams stand out. Like, if so you, you have thirty. You, you have thirty teams, teams right, right now. But, 30, but back 30, then, it wasn't thirty teams. There right now, no, yeah, there, no, not at no, all. Not even close. So that's not even close. So that's what I'm saying. Like, right now, you have thirty teams to look up and to. By the way, te- the NBA and all those came teams out have with a um, yes, but the amount of like dope players that you would have is still the same back then that it is yeah. now. Like, there's not I like... Mean, every team at least had a superstar no. back then. Oh. Uh, like, like, yeah. Back then, at least... The table. Oh. Back then, every team had at least a superstar. Right, right. No, no but that's what I'm saying, though. But, like, yeah. think that means 13 superstars. You get what I'm saying? Now there's 30 teams, and there's still and only, like, 13 ones. superstars. They got no. Multi- no, they got multiple no. stars. No, no. Yeah. No, they got way more no. stars these look, days. Look now. at the Golden State Warriors. Like, right, but I'm, I'm not saying that whole squad no, no, hold on. Is a, is, That's is what I'm saying. Those, those but like those, but those that team itself is good. That's what I'm trying to say. Like mm-hmm. most of them players are on the team. Like when you have when I'm talking like the stars, I'm talking like when you got Pippen, you have uh, Wade, you have. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you can, those, those iconic players, Nash, oh, like the, one on the ones, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you have the, the Jordans, the, the Kobe's, the Magic's. But here's the problem. You have, the Rodman's. You, like, have, you have so have. many good oh, artists, uh, sorry, good artists. You have so many good athletes out there, okay? And now they were limited to like, okay, there's like, let's say a thousand, but we can only take five, you know, 500. It's an example. Right. Right. You know, so now they have more opportunities to hire and more of these, like, good players. So it's not that, oh, we only had good. No, we, we have a lot of good people in this country that know how to play basketball. Now we just have Even more opportunities the for them to now. play. Exactly. Even people that are immigrants that now we're hiring more, you know. No, yeah, no. I guess and not even that, but there's also other great. ways to get to NBA now. Like, but that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I guess not, I'm, it's like, not just the college yeah. way. I guess what I mean, yeah. like, it's becoming even, more like a. Uh, of that, like, you know, Dennis Rodman, he didn't, like, you know. He didn't. He didn't go the traditional route. To right. Get no. To NBA. I'm not. I'm not saying about how to get in there. I'm saying just when you're in the NBA, though, like your your iconicness doesn't seem to come, nowadays doesn't seem to come from just pure talent. Yeah. You're no, not, well, you're no, not, no, 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 no. That's coming from if, all walks of life. Yeah. That just basketball. If anything, like, it's harder now like to now become an all-star. More, right. It's that's more what I'm trying to say. It's easier to become a videographer. Obviously, I'm teaching yeah. you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But 
Now y'all got to play the game. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Y'all got to go against out. Netflix. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all in the same boat. With Netflix. It's easier to get. Into if anything, it's harder now. But it's harder. But it's harder. It's harder to stand out. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it's you hard have to stand out. Yeah. I think that's just. Then what's SoundCloud? Have, you still have because to. Because SoundCloud, any like SoundCloud, I believe like a two, a three. In a 2019, three of the biggest rappers that has sold that has the most streaming, right? Two of them came from SoundCloud. Right. Yeah. So like nowadays, it's not just about like somebody finding you and whatever. Like now, you can just yeah. go through SoundCloud. Yeah. Record so labels everything. don't want you to be not like, doing well, anything. Now they, they, they don't want to have to. They don't want to have to find to, you they fans. Don't, they don't want to have to invest into yeah, you. They, they, they don't want to have to they make you fans. Ha- they, they want you to already have well, no, that's not even base, it. Yeah. So that way they can that's not even it. That's yep. not even it. it. That's Here's the thing. People aren't even signing into big record labels anymore. Most people are actually creating their own record labels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially in the reggaeton, in the reggaeton industry, in the in el género, what we call it, people are not signing into fucking, they'll have investors and then grow their way into Bad Bunny. Okay, he was signed in for three. Uh, let me give you a perfect example, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny was signed in for just a very few years into a big company with, like, you know, a DJ Lu Yang, right? A big, you know, producer. Guess what? Him. After that, guess what he did? His cousin is the producer. He's a mm-hmm. badass producer. They're young mm-hmm. as fuck, by the way. Mm-hmm. He has mm-hmm. his own videographer. He has mm-hmm. his own fucking mark. He markets his own You're shit. He's explaining EX3 he, to a team. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's how our team is. He did everything on his own without any you help he didn't he, he he rose a little bit to fame but he did everything to be honest on his own yeah. nowadays artists are not signing to sony music or not, si- They're not don signing omar, to don omar is another fucking example he got TV. fucked over by uh by, by sony music yeah. he got fucked over he has a contract where he made pennies mm-hmm. compared to them so now he's waiting for his contract which is this year in september that it expires so he can go on his Tory own Lane's and make fucking thing. money yeah. I mean, everybody is making only, their own yo, shit Tor- oh speak like speaking you don't of the need whole nobody. You got like, SoundCloud yo, now. Tory Lanez, like with his quarantine radio and all Son. that. Duh. The he, contract you saw them. Duh. Duh. He's he he's okay. gonna be he's gonna be making a lot of money. Like yeah. he's gonna be. He's already in talks with MTV. Yeah. Yeah. MTV wants to pick up his. Because, um, the whole point of a record. Thing, like, yeah. He, yeah. He's gonna be up there. Like that. And the, the guy that um is a, via- a videographer or used to be a videographer for uh Fort Myers is with him. His videographer. Yeah. Did. Is yeah. Isn't, uh, I, I know his. Uh, yeah, I forgot his name. I like, believe uh, his. Uh, his, his oh, guy and not only that, his Ray- manager too. His <laughs> manager is Raymond. Yeah, yeah, yeah Raymond Ray- from Ray- Lehigh. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. little yeah, Raymond. Connection. Now yeah, he's big Raymond. I call and not only <laughs> and not only that, but like with Swiss Beats <laughs> and um Raymond. Timberland doing all the verses, like yeah, duh. Like there were people who wanted to buy verses from them, and they just was like, nah. Mm-mm. I think. Well, after working with Isa today, I think the the uh, the thing that that's making everyone go so independent is the lack, uh, not lack, but the benefit of technology. Honestly. Yeah. Like, seeing yeah. the fact that, that, like, is it. that, yo, is like, it. seeing the fact like, that cameras can, like, do, like, like yeah. movie theater They're quality like, shit well, for, like, $800 yeah. for the camera, But right? what is the and reason that people with sign with, uh, thing, let's go to the basics. Oh, sorry. Money. money. What's the reason that people sign mm-hmm. in, not even money, what's the real reason that people sign into these record labels to get noticed, right? Not even just, well, not even that. It's the market. you usually, go ahead. You you usually in a, 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 a bind and you make a split decision right then and there mm-hmm. and don't no, no, realize but, but your what, ass is on the line. But my, no, that's that's, the that's not what one. I'm asking. What I'm asking is, what is the benefit back then of signing with a record? What do it's they do getting, for it's you? It's oh, getting there alone. was no way for it's us getting, to do wait, it wait, ourselves. Wait, wait. Right. There was no platform. That's for what I'm saying. Yeah. Wait, what? That, okay, so th- that's my point. So, so no equipment. So, you had no equipment. So that's no location. It was expensive as shit. No, 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 and staff. And then you didn't have the legal know-how. No how information. Run, no yeah. information. Yes. So that's my point is back then, back then, mm-hmm. the reason you signed it with a record label was because you needed, you know, a little soundstage. You needed right. um, to be known in the radio. You needed some kind of flat plug. <clears throat> all of that to be basically they're like your manager. Like, you know, when yeah. you're an actress and that was the reason back then. Nowadays, what do we have? We have uh, people that basically, like down here, how many uh, in-home studios do we do we have? Shit. Yeah. My I've man right now. You you rock my man Zoom right and now. a GoPro and you got yourself but, a movie, yeah, but son. But if we're asking the question. My man right now is in a fucking, uh, in his friend's house just chilling with them. But if we're but asking the question. they have a home record studio right now. And but if fucking, we're asking the question of that, why. And then on SoundCloud. If we're so asking why the do you que- need a record label? If we're asking the question of why you would need a record label nowadays, look at how many artists are in their bedroom room recording music and tell me how many of them have made There's it distribution actually uh, it's just now you, nowadays it's just now it comes a, to like couple, Sony. Yeah. and how many are at drake's level 
How many are at Wayne's level? How many are Beyonce? How many yeah. are Rihanna? How many are at Kanye's well, level? Well, no. part, of, part of that comes in, you need motherfucking help. Right. You, you do. do this by but not yourself. A record, you don't need a record label. That's no. my point. You don't and need a record label. Some people that, tr- that you believes just, in what you're doing right. and, and yeah. there for them. The things that the, thing, the things that a record label can offer you, besides for money, is putting you in the right hands yeah. for not that opportunity. Not anymore. Well, no, he's still no, right. For, for a kid no, he's still right. He's still for a kid, right. In a way, it's a shortcut. In a way, yes. It is a it's short, a shortcut. In a way, yes. For a kid that's but coming up from you're the selling, table. I feel like you're you know? selling your soul, and then you're basically giving years. And you, Some of these people want you to put in, I'm talking about like 10 years, yeah, and a certain amount of albums fault. full of... That's the artist's fault. You have fine. to get a, the right lawyer to look at your contract. That's the artist's fault for signing it to something that they don't fully agree with. If you don't, If you know that you're not going to be able to produce... Two years worth of albums with a record label. Why the fuck would you sign the contract? Pick a different. Pick a different record label. Yo, speaking of you know? that, like and recently. All- speaking of that, recently, like this happened with Meg Thee Stallion too, because I mean, like she went because of like of her like she got fucked. Yo, up. Yeah. I got, and I got, ooh. but listen, I got dudes. Because, because I got dudes' cousin added on Facebook, the dude that signed her. Mm-hmm. So I know some background information on that, and she's kind of. I don't know, man. But my I, whole, I feel my like whole she's thing is that too, I feel like no, she's she did much. it wrong. Because she did they it was right wrong. Do, doing what they did to her, yeah. but yes. she didn't read the contract. She didn't that read too, the contract. But also, I mean, but also look at it like she's fine. a new, she's a new artist, and you know, she's a liability. She's get, and get and get and like you know, they offering her money up front. You know, you're a new artist. You just want to get the money up front. Yeah. You know. But you, and you don't, and no one really knows how big she was gonna get. Exactly. That. And when she got big, she's like, okay, I want to make it's more a money. It's a starter contract. Re- yeah. You but talk your way I'll out say of that this. eventually. Re- yeah, regardless, right. if you yes. went th- with the industry or not, or you went with a friend that had the money, that's still, that's still, you yeah. still signed. Yeah. yeah. Because he's yeah. looking for his his return. I just, I, that return. Yeah. 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 I just follow more of like, uh, like I said, El Genero, which is the reggaeton world. Mm-hmm. And the way they do it in, like, for example, Puerto Rico, is they'll have people that, you know, they're drug dealers, for example, or they, they got their shit going in the hood. You know, they're bichotes, you know, like they're, they're like, head well, of the yeah, hood. They help put the and money they, they, they'll help put the money out, but they're they not going to be too. like... They do, they but, hold, hold on. Big but, Meech, put uh, Young Jeezy uh, and Fab on. But they're not going to be like these Yo. big companies that are going to put you in a 10, 15-year contract. The thing is, these big companies, you might say, oh, I'm going to get a lawyer. These big companies got a fucking line of people lining up. They're going to be like, oh, you got a lot? No, fuck that shit. I'm going to get the next motherfucker to sign for 10, 15 years. Yeah. So there's no, no. It's, these people in this, in at least that hand are like, I'm going to sign for three years. Fine, I'll give you three years of my life. That's good enough to get at least started, to make enough money, uh-huh. to then hire my own producers, hire my own shit. Everything's very close in that, at least in that genre. Like I said, I know hip- that's an ego as issue, though. That's but I feel like issue. even in that world, like, you, you, like, don't, you don't know how to do properly f- negotiate. There's a lot of that the that contracts. aren't as big as they should be. Though. Depends, depends. The, like it's just some of these big companies. To be honest, they don't actually look at. Like I said, nowadays you have SoundCloud. They can go on fucking SoundCloud. They can go on any streaming service and have a line of people lined up. They're yeah. looking for the next person to profit. A lot of these big companies, they will take. 90 if not more percent of what the fuck you're actually supposed to be making and, and like you're the, supposed to and you they are plus it's not like, supposed to make a certain amount and plus it's not albums. and plus it's not like you know they going they get they get you to invest that. into anything else because i mean with social media you could promote your own shit yeah. they don't have to pay you for pay marketing for, you pay for yeah. ads. that's free marketing you know you have gofundme you have facebook you have youtube okay. you have fucking and then eventually you you Yes, if, if once you get big enough, I guess you can sign with a big company, but then on your own terms because you're big enough. But when you're yeah. starting and off you and they, you're a talent and you they just find you, you can't negotiate. I'm sorry. Basically, what we're doing here is we're building you up, guys. Y'all can make as many mistakes, yeah. and then when it gets to a certain level, that company will come to you. Then you hit them with that leverage. Yeah. All right, I don't want yeah. this. I don't want... You know what? Basically, you have I just to build up credit to be able to negotiate. You can't, you can't negotiate when you're not... Yeah. Big. Yeah. You yeah. can. They can say you have the talent. We just happen to found you and on you the got, street. Facts. But unless yeah, but you have that reputation, you can't negotiate. Yeah, like you're I'm starting to tell you how it is because you know, I know. Yeah. No, I know you, this. You still can negotiate to a certain, to a certain extent. Degree. To a certain. Yeah, extent. yeah but that's what I'm saying. To that your certain, certain degree. It's it's for when both parties as are. As long happy. as you are. No. Man, or as That's long as you're marketable enough, no, they, they have that as leverage. No, but the end they goal came of negotiation. Us, you know editing, right? I know editing, so you already got an editor. She knows how to draw. Basically, we got a graphic designer. 
He knows right, right. That's what I'm trying to say. Like when you go in, music. when you're going into these deals, and when they're going into these deals now, the fact that they either have these people, like they may have a videographer, they may have one or two of these mm-hmm. people, but they're not going into the deal knowing that that's an asset to them. Yeah. So they're not adding that. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they, they're, they're, they're not they adding that. that as a yeah. negotiating tactic where it's like, yeah, I don't need this. So you can take that cut yep. and that cost out yep, and give me money yeah. for that. But, but speaking and give of me money my best advice support. though is like build yourself up before like really try to build up uh don't depend on anybody basically is my main thing don't depend on anybody try to build yourself up to a certain degree before you go out and 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 really put yourself out there with any contract don't be that you know neighborhood rapper and then fuck yourself over or else you end up like designer and then take (laughs) take stock i guess on top of that (laughs) facts too bro But like, better, take stock better, of what you uh, take stock of who you know and what you have. But too. Yo, like speaking of what you were saying before, like I mean, back in the day, and even you know, er, in the early two thousands, like a lot, like even over here too, that that was the same thing happened. Like in the eighties, you know, when NWA was coming up, like you know, Easy E was the one who brought brought all the money there because he was the drug, he was the you know, well. The crack dealer in the, yeah. the, the, the beach thing, he, yeah. The beach thing. He, he, he you put have the that. money up for them to do their mm-hmm. shit. You know, yeah. Dre was the producer. You know, Ice Cube, Ice Cube, and MC Ren was the main MCs, and yeah, they were the writers. Yeah. yeah. yeah now I much. also want to get this before y'all move on to the next subject. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying, or we're not saying, that not like signing, not signing with a, a person is like that's a bad deal. No, it's you, not. Because yeah. you could There's do some, some Drake too. shit. If now that's you banking a hundred percent, you gonna yeah. get right no return back. That is, you better hope and pray yeah. that you are Drake it, or it, whoever. It all just matters on marketing that, that you can. But buy once again, out your own before right. oh, yeah. Drake, Chris Brown. oh yeah, Chris Brown, oh yeah, Twenty One Savage did the same rights. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty One Savage did the same thing. Yeah. But again, like it comes out to negotiation. Like I said, yeah. like no, I one, said, no. no, they got fucked on a deal, but. They were so good they that made, they, had, they uh, could pay oh, it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. Because yeah, Drake, Drake still had issues with Because a lot of these people, yeah. it's all about albums, too. They also give you a quota on albums. Mm-hmm. Within 10 years, I need you to make, right. uh, like, X eight al- albums. Yeah, X yeah. amount of albums. It's not even about dollars. It's about albums. They yeah, want you to come out. And that's why, and that's so why it honestly, depends. Sometimes they don't some, even do years. They just like give I said, you a certain amount of albums. Some albums do. That's why, like, a lot of certain artists, yeah. they'll just, you know, put out projects just to get out of the contract. Like, yeah. A lot yes. of people say that Drake, yeah. Even if it's Drake, not that like, good, and then they'll Drake, get out of the contract and then late. they'll continue. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you read it, it's too late. A lot of people are saying that's supposed to be a mixtape, but he just said it was going to be an album. And it just was to get just, out of his contract. Yeah. Just so he could it was the last album. On if there, you look yeah. at uh, Don Omar, for example, he's been in a contract with Sony with, uh, I don't mean that, you know, this Sony or anything. I'm just saying, if this is from his interview. He's Sony, she's hating. I'm just saying, he's been in a contract with, uh, you know, his person for a long fucking time. I'm talking about, like, over a decade, Mm -hmm. for a long time. And every song he's ever made from, he hasn't made shit. (coughs) He's had to make it through, like, private parties, like, shit like that. He didn't make anything from that. No, no. Have you ever seen the interview? Watch the interview. You're going to see how it really works. And he is not the only artist that has spoken against these big companies. So that's why I say be careful. Because you might you you might uh, think it's an I opportunity and you might get the fame, but fame is different than fortune. Yeah, Honestly, that's that's just not, I mean, that's you can be weird. famous and broke. I rather get the fortune because there has to be something in the contract that entitles royalties. You, you, you yeah. say yeah. that you, you, read. you say that he didn't read shit. That's what I'm saying. That's his fault. That's true. But that's once again, fault. like I said, he he got fucked over. He finally he finally it will be ended at the at the the fall of this year, and he's got projects up the ass that he said I am not releasing until I'm done with my contract that I'm doing on my own because he's done he's like I actually want to profit off of my projects all the main songs you know of him he didn't he now barely made any is, money. Does, does he? Do they have rights to it if they're using his, their equipment and shit? You know how some people be like, if you use my stuff, it's still mine. Oh, no, yeah, not yeah. if he, not if he has his own private studio. Well, which question is, are people money. still gonna care for a Don Amad album in 2020? <laughs> oh yeah, they. Think boy, so? boy, boy, have you that seen pushing almost 50 Don right Omar here? and Bad Bunny's new song from Canciones Que No Salir? Hello. Nah, but Bad Bunny's fire, so he'll make anything. Fire. But but Don Omar too. Have you? You don't follow this general like I do. You don't nah. know. This ge- I like. He's, I, he's, I used to like Deo so Calderon better than Don Omar. So yeah. they're good. They're doing good. But, but anyways, yes. Yeah, since yeah. since you did bring up the um butterfly effect, I really 
Yo, any any y'all who's in the DC animation? Yes. No. Oh, yeah. Justice yes. League Dark, Apocalyptic War. Oh my god. Bruh. I still gotta watch it. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll watch it. I'm not that too into DC, but I'll watch it. But I'll like, yo, it. it's good. Honestly, it's just like it's just imagine Endgame, but darker. Mm. Yes. Really, really dark. Better. People are actually saying that it's better than Endgame. They're actually reviews I don't know there. about that. They're reviews. I don't know too I'm much. I don't know about that. Like, Remember, it's, I I'm saying that. for an animated They said for well, an for, animated film. For animated film. Yeah, for an animated animated film w- which is yeah, probably. what DC excels in. You know? Anyway. And, and plus it's R-rated. Anyway. And plus it's R-rated. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's, if it's a, it could really DC just. DC animated yeah. cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Cra- yeah. It's yeah. cracked. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. cracked. Yeah. And plus it's R-rated. Yeah. Like, it's just. It's a DC oh, cartoon. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that was my next question. So it is R-rated. Yeah, it is R-rated. And it's R-rated for a reason. It's yeah, be like, and, it, and it's based off of if you guys seen Justice League Dark, the first one with Constantine yeah, and that Satana. One. That's my favorite. Like, so I want to add this in since y'all said Dark, Justice League. Yes. Now I'm kind of happy, but then I'm kind of little. I don't know. I kind of know what you're gonna say. The Zack Snyder. Yes. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> okay. I seen. Oh no, it's, they it's hired everybody good. and reshooting shit. I'm not saying this. So I'm not saying this because of it's now, but I've been said this since it came out. I was like, we've been known that uh, the Warner Brothers have kind of cut a lot of scenes and made it to their version. Do you so think I always this said is that on the, purpose just yeah. to come in there with the uppercut? Yeah. Mm. I think they're finally that they, they were scared. Uh, I think uh, they, did, they didn't want to make scared. things too dark because it's and like, now they we know the that oh, this works being ourselves. Yeah. Now ever since Joker, be, ever since yeah. the Joker, they come in like, Joker shit. movie. They're right. like, Yo, why are we doing this? We got this shit works. now. You right, you right. But I mean, they have don't the Harley Quinn show. Right. But right. the like, Warner Brothers actually them. deleted a lot of scenes. Because like, the Harley Quinn show is pretty, pretty, show is pretty Boy. savage. As far as like language goes, the Harley Quinn show is pretty out there. Yeah, the Harley Quinn show is the shit. They could have tried that with cartoons. They already did that. We was already there for it. Yeah, it but was, they can't. Yeah. They can't do yeah. that for kids though. So they would have to make the same cartoon no, before they adults. Want, they wanted to have they the have same. The Batman. That is true. Yeah. It's so kids. That is Keep very them there. true. Okay, that's Everything true. Everything that's on yeah. the animated. Dark Knight. Ooh, that have been dark. Yo. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I there, there's there's honestly, different ways man, they could have marketed that. Yo, yeah. just like honestly, man. Like, bro. Like, they wanted to have the same kind of um, fan base as Marvel does, but yo, like. You it's can't. DC. They're different. You can't. They're Listen, too different for you to have the same. Have more. Yeah. Marvel's yeah. good. Your Marvel's great. Is actually. way deeper. Plus Marvel's yeah, great. Listen, Marvel's great, and Marvel has that. Um, if you actually look at the, you know, the the, the Stan Lee, it's more of that heartfelt. Yeah. It's fun. It's you know deep, and that's a whole different vibe. DC is the te- is very Fuck dark. It. It's tech very, and over. that's how it yeah. should be. Dark, you know, grimy. The te- like the psychology, and they don't even like let that. you. They, and, the, and the fact of the matter, they don't even let you like love the the, the moment or or yeah. get a good moment out of it. They just say, eh, it's gonna stay fucked up." Yeah. Watch Joker. It's it's stay. It, but there's I think no, it's an ending that yeah. is just the, terrible. That's the ending yeah. to Justice and they leave League. You there. The, the it ain't apocalypse. no end game saying, where they be like, yeah. "Oh, we are gonna continue." No, they leave yeah. you there and say, yeah. "Fuck it." Yeah. That's the apocalypse ending. I mean, oh, it ended it's, like, it's, "Wow, it's, what is?" Bro, I I was so mad at the ending of Apocalyptic War. Like, I know. Don't don't share. Damn it! If you haven't seen it by now. For somebody that I likes dark long. shit, I'm just, I'm surprised I'm not a huge DC fan, and I'm more of a Marvel fan. Because you, I, I love because you've only seen. I keep telling you, you've only seen live action. If you actually watch the animated, it's very yo, dark. Start, okay, yo, start, yo, start, start with Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah. Right. Start yep. with Flashpoint Paradox. Flashpoint Paradox. Flashpoint Paradox well, and Dark Batman. Yes, no. You see basically Batman's dad. It's a whole alternate universe where Batman dies or Bruce Wayne dies and his dad is Become Batman. He, and he he's kills people. And he's dark. He don't he's give a, a fuck. fuck. And this he's is like, all because he got Barry guns. went back in time he and guns. saved his mom. He got guns and shit. He don't care. Yo. He and that, when first Flash comes in, he's just like, this is your fucking fault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he's you like, got the Court of Owls. You got son of Batman. And he's just like, just because like you could have went back in time and done so much other shit, but because you want to be selfish and save your mama, all this shit is fucked up now. Everybody's got a dead because family your member. Yo, yo, meme you got that said that you could take all Batman's powers away oh, yeah. by calling the IRS. Batman like a motherfucker. Like, the IRS. They've been yeah. <laughs> 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 the, 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 yeah, he come in there, whoop your ass. 
You go to the hospital and then find out your insurance is high because he owns the insurance company. <laughs> like low key, we, that is the most. We was thinking about it. It's like yo, Batman legit causes most of his issues. So think about Duh. this. Think about this. It's 2020. Say if Batman is real. Right. It's 2020. Corona hit. Okay. Corona already hit. Right. No you buy, you losing funds. You gotta pay for shit. You gotta you sell, sell a name. weed on the You're side. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh, so you go to the hospital and you gotta pay high insurance. Hey, come on, man. Oh now, God. wait. Worst superhero in the world. Now, come on. Then he become a villain. Yeah. Then he become a villain. Yo, like, bad ass okay, come on take. Now. Batman AKA the dude. Dark Knight. You know now, hold on a second, man. Bat- now, Batman doesn't go after like motherfuckers like that. Like, hey, on, check it. He- you don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Wayne, <laughs> Wayne in the you Prize. You in the movie to- by this time. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Wayne in the Prize. He just he just be signing yeah. shit, right? Yeah. So he signed whoever's name to be fu- to be fired. I e uh, for example, Professor Zero, whatever Sub Zero. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he fired his ass. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, Sub Zero got no, fired. Sub Zero. Did you just yeah. say Sub Zero? I was Mr. gonna Freeze? say whatever. It's both Mr. the same. They both the same. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Sub Zero. We not talking about Mortal Kombat. No, no, no. I said Sub Zero. No, no, I said Sub Zero because that's the name of a Batman movie. No, that's the name. I, of oh, I said something yeah. with the ice. Okay. No, that's. I didn't that's get an answer. Mr. Freeze, that, no, sir. That, no, that's no that. I said Mr. Ice, whatever. Mr. Freeze. No, not even that. But like. He there, call there's, a, there's a bat, there's a, there's a DC Mr. animated movie with Batman in it, and it's called Sub Zero. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the movie, but Whatever. not the character. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, the character from the movie. Who or what? Sub Zero. You know who the fuck I'm talking about? The movie is what? In not who? Sub Zero. <laughs> so it's not like I'm tripping. Come so you know who I'm fucking talking about? I'm yeah, drunk. I know all right. You know what? Not who? I'm drunk. All right. I'm close. Nah, but what were you talking about? The man got. Sorry, he got, got fired because he wasn't hitting. He wasn't hitting his research. Um, hitting the research right, so he got fired. Then he was like, well, I still got to continue my research. Mm-hmm. And started robbing niggas to get diamonds <laughs> so he continues his research to bring back his wife. Batman kicked his ass. Mm-hmm. No more wife. I just want my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Let all he wanted was wife back. Let his like, wife die. How? I, I th- I'll tell you okay, the really? honest truth. I think the reason why we're starting to connect to Joker a lot more is because we, we turn it in that nigga. Pretty much. Pretty much. We have an all this poverty. Mental going illness is growing yeah. up the roof. So we're all like, shit, yeah. we all crazy. We get it. Like, yeah. I fucking do this. People going to start dancing Speaking down some steps. Crazy you know, world. You know, I, may, I may have topics for y'all because it's been a minute. I'm I sorry. Got, I'm I got a topic. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. This, we is, got, we got this it, one right we here. To, oh, I had a one, butterfly This topic. one is a killer. Speaking of craziness, just as brief. Did y'all see that video of that one kid that got on his phone and was like, hey, guys. And get ready to shoot up a school. I saw Let's that. Get right oh, to it. Yeah. He, like it was nonchalant. Bruh. Like yeah. it was just a, a a day out that we was just going. All right, let's get this We're done. We're just going to the zoo, guys. Like, y'all, yeah. like he about to it's get to work. Like, let's get this done. Like, bro, you're not going to work. You're doing some Hear me out. Hear me out. With you, Hear me out. If he played GTA 5 <laughs> VR, I get it. Nick. Nah, I get that, it. Because like, I had a flashback. We are not going to sit here and play no. video games for that kind of nah. shit. Nah. We are, you be, no, get, we are not nah. going to play video games for that I get shit. it. If he, There's if no correlation between it. It's been proven. If he crazy... No, nah, VR to crazy. be VR can hit you some different. No, nah, he's just I don't crazy. Know, I don't trust if, VR. If you if you crazy horror yeah. movies, can think hit about you it though. Different. You talking about virtual reality where you can go ahead and just murder and kill people? My theory nah, is that we're still like a game. Los Angeles, but, but it's still a game. Regular video games. My too. theory is not about video games because they blame it on that shit. I think oh, that man. we're just getting to a point where we're realizing not, that life is more fucked up than we think. But I'm not yeah. blaming we the get, video games. Like the 50s, they grew up in like. Don't think about it. Don't just, you know, just live hide your, life. Hide your trauma. Hide your traumas clear, and emotions. Though. Now we're like embracing our traumas and emotions. You got to embrace your traumas and emotions. Now you're like, yeah, it's kind ah, of I was fucked. Really. Everybody's I fucked. I just want to be clear though. I'm not Shit. blaming video games. I'm blaming VR. No, no. I know you're not. Yeah. I'm just saying okay. like, I just blame the, the like other GTA people and VR. I just don't even get how that correlates with it. Because like, like GTA VR, right? So it's like well, virtual VR reality. VR could uh, cause PTSD. Right. I, and yes, so if yes, you're if you're able to play like GTA and First person view, you can do all the fucked up shit you want to do, and then yeah. like you go about it your real day. Like I was playing the game last night, let's say, and then like we were driving around today, and I seen the same setup of cars in the intersection. Oh, oh and I'm shit! Just like, which is real, you know what I'm saying? Like Yo, that quite, you feel me? Mind. That really you that get me? Hold up, that real it blend made me of, think of fucking Inception, right? That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Or the girl, you yeah. can get confused. ready to kill herself because she. 
She loved she the believed dream. Yeah, she, she thought. Yeah, yeah, she, did, yeah, she, could, she, yeah couldn't she killed herself. She thought it between was between which is real and which yeah. isn't. That blend of reality yeah. and yeah. fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. virtual, like the actual video. virtual they're, reality they're, they're itself. They're really blurring that line between the two. And so I mean, yeah, like I I'm saying, like maybe stick with virtual reality in like old time games, because then you can't confuse riding a horse and then like shooting up a school. You know what I'm saying? Like you're playing Skyrim. VR, you can't. Oh yeah, like I def- that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely would not want to play that one mission in. Um, <laughs> no, I definitely would not want to play that one mission in um, Modern Warfare 2. Where you shooting up the whole uh, in the airport, the, the whole airport, you just no, murking everybody. They, they actually yeah. have it where yeah. they you actually had it where it was like Wait. you can skip it. Skip so, it. Yeah, yeah, you can skip it. Imagine yeah. you not want to skip that shit. You just like, all right. Speaking of, speaking of like shooting people and shit. Sorry, but like uh, GTA Six. All these fake oh. real, all these Yo, fake. there's so many fake no, trailers. No, there fake, are fake trailers. Look, there's fake trailers, but there, is, but there, it is confirmed that they are in development. Oh yeah, they're they're yes. working. Yeah, they're working yes. on it. Yeah. But it's in development. Why are you Just mad? letting everybody know, there is no real trailer Why out there. Yet. Oh, yeah, there is no real trailer. Because yeah. now, um, so GTA. Anybody who hasn't played GTA Online, they have many versions now. They have packs. They have different characters yeah. now that you can add. So just letting you know, it's uh, they have even uh, GTA 4K. So now you have like oh, a... Oh, niggas missed out. It was yeah. free for PC up until the Oh, yeah, for, yeah. P- for PC. Yes, son. You mad. It was- so <laughs> they basically <laughs> grab... <laughs> yes. So they're grabbing oh, shit bad. from there, and they're grabbing shit from all the well, different online GTAs, and they're... they're, they're, they're People that you know have I just only played on the Xbox or PlayStation. They're making fake trailers, so there is no GTA Six trailer yeah, yeah, yeah. yet. I'm so excited! Not still. yet. It's but like Marvel. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. They will come out there's with a so trailer. Who knows when? It. It but really, it's not coming out yet. It will come out when the new system so, come out. It is. That's, it's that's gonna what, be for next gen. It's gonna be for next gen for sure. Again, will it be for VR? That's the question. If you continue to blur the line, I don't think they're gonna make it. I don't think they're gonna make it solely for VR. Fuck that. Yeah, if, if you play fucking for VR, it's gonna be like hold on, one at a time, guys. Oh, Order in the damn <laughs> fucking court. I can't understand hey, man, what the fuck on. is going my on bad. here. Sorry. Oh, but I do want to talk about Rockstar, though. Go ahead with what you were gonna say. No, I'm saying y- you s- y'all was elaborating on the, just the airport, but just play Warzone right now. Yeah. yeah. Without the VR, I was like, damn. Oh shit. <laughs> felt like Dog. Miami Oak. That's what I'm saying. Imagine. If that bitch was right That's here. what I'm saying. And people be doing some Dude. crazy shit on... Well, See, now I gotta get war like, You, you bro, add a run, vest run, to run, it that reacts up. to hits? Duh, now, yeah. you, now you don't know what the fuck to <laughs> realize. I'm thinking about developing that. That's, so, that'd be too real. Think about it. Like, I'm trying to say, like, this is the problem All where you would need is a, a, a suit, and then you get those little things for the... Um, uh, vibrating, vibrating, yeah. Oh, so it's just so just like laser tag in a way. It's war yeah, zone yeah, cross-platform, though? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. so like oh, you yeah. imagine okay. like so basically you have, you, like, it's, it's like we talked about. I think it was like one of our first episodes where we're getting to a point where you wear a full body suit. Mm-hmm. So like for example, you get shot in the arm, you can actually feel like a mm-hmm. long, like a large vibrating. You yeah. know, yeah. If I you wouldn't. get shot here, you get a shot. you know. Yeah. So I that's what that. I'm saying. It was you would get PTSD. What about, what about, PTSD what about people ass. who have like you know weak nerves like? Don't There's get already, this jacket. Well, then already, don't play. Don't buy. It's don't already, play. Like, they already don't say play. you shouldn't play video games if you have seizures we, and stuff. We had, you don't buy. We, get no, out of my store. Like, we had a former employee, let's not forget, who literally has vertigo because of VR. Because he played it that much. So let's not, like, let's not forget that. I'm lost. Co- uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to say names <laughs> now. <laughs> I'll just start the, mm. start the first letter. <laughs> don't what? even, don't even, don't even. So now we get it, right? So now we get it. So now we know. So I'm just saying the the dangerousness of VR. I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm, I'm just. I ain't scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't scared. Guys, what? I just, I just want to say that these, this is. Um, That's not free advertising. We don't do that shit. I don't shit. give a fuck. Let me just. <laughs> Damn, cuz. I got real? to. I don't give a shit. I got God's to. home style I pretzels. You owe us some money for some yeah. advertising. Hey, no, oh. like that. I thought that was Walmart brand. No. Okay, so, Dots home style pretzels. If you're an alcoholic, then you know these are in Total Wine. Hey, Dots, shout if out not, to you. You yeah, owe us some money for the advertisement. Yeah, get a cook some description. We'll eat more pretzels. We'll eat all the pretzels. Literally, so my favorite. Yo, I mean, these got these are seasoned. These are like okay, regular fries, checkers fries, like super seasoned Ooh. fucking pretzels. <laughs> Ooh, Try these icing. They sound like some Spanish people. No, bitch, this ain't no Spanish. Nah, people. this some white seasoning. Come on, I was y'all didn't let me finish. Spanish okay. and black people, we love seasoning. Who, shit. Of course. <laughs> Who came up with pretzels? <laughs> white, people came, white people came up with pretzels, yeah, right? I can't even. A white person one. definitely. A white people. Came up, yeah. I don't. As a black Tell person, me. I don't. That's never a go-to snack. Yes. Chex mix. 
Chex Mix. It got that Chex Mix taste. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. But for pretzels. I feel like it's the garlic that really like. Yeah. But, it, it yeah. Yeah. but I know pretzels that taste that good. I'm just saying. Oh. This is. This is huh? I was going to say, go ahead. Yeah. I had news I've been itching to share with y'all. That's science and, and nerdy. Nah, something I wanted to like really talk about like these past couple days. Like when they were talking about the whole like Grand Apollo 6, like Rockstar. They definitely wanted to cut down on, you know, on crack, on crash, and you know, just because <laughs> I thought he was gonna cut say down crack. on crack. I thought not crash, <laughs> crack on, but like, just like, cause what, cause what happened? Cause a lot of some of the employee, some of the like, the workers were really complaining about the whole like, you know, with um Red Dead Redemption Two, mm-hmm. and okay. they were working fucking like eighty hour fucking weeks trying to just yeah. trying to crash and just you know get. You know, get everything developed and to get the game out there, like before, like you know, <clears throat> like right before it was released. So they had a whole big thing where they're like, you know, we'll do the game, but like we're not doing, you know, these eighty-hour weeks just to like do the shit last minute. Like, yeah. I'm gonna take thirty seconds just to say this really quick, fast, All right. fast, fast. Yeah, All right, so check out the episode Patriot Act on um, gaming. All right. And they will explain everything. But basically, gamers, all right, if you're going into a uh, gaming development and everything, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. All right? You are fucked. You have no future. They will make you do crunch time like a motherfucker. Well, yeah, that's what it is. Crunch. Yep, crunch Crunch, time. Not crash. um, Crunch. Yep. (laughs) 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 Yes. I get my words. It's crunch time. Uh, Crunch time is up the ass. You will basically, there are some employees that are like, I got to pee in a bottle. I'm fucked the shit. Well, like. Like people that develop games, yeah, yeah, people that develop games that you do can't the, leave the desk yeah. for you can't leave the desk. Yeah, they like they, they don't give you no potty breaks. Yeah. You, you're fucked. And it, then what? Well, depends. Oh, no, I better get a fucking. No, so, you got break. depends. Nigga, you got diapers. What's, <laughs> what's good? <laughs> 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 or I got a <laughs> bottle. I'll pee in a bottle. I would as long as get one of those like from Wish, from Wish, where you get like pee in them and then they go through a little spout and the whizzle. If they're from Wish, they're definitely gonna break halfway through. But look, but look, basically you don't work, you don't do shit. You yeah. got to like basically work, 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 work. Then once the game is done, they're like, by the way, we're firing half of you. Yeah. Bye. Downsize. Downsize, Damn. motherfucker. It was like, and then they hire new. You yeah. know what? That's you don't not surprising. Need six graphic designers. That's not need surprising. Like three next time. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's so they're going to fuck yeah. you up. Yeah, that's not surprising. So that's what they do. So if you're trying to get into that um, industry, or, just Or just research. like we were saying, you know, just, you know, do it, you know, do it your own way, you know. A lot, that's what a lot of people shit. are doing, like, uh, Android for that reason. A lot of, like, there's one, there's one, I think it's a black guy. He made a game that's, like, like for PC and stuff, mm-hmm. but he developed okay. it and, yeah. and, like, oh. the characters and everything mm-hmm. himself. You know that, uh, you know that uh, game Dreams or whatever? And you you could literally design games within yeah. a game, like it's yeah. a game of where you design games. And these people, like this dude, made like a 4K fucking world in Dreams, and That's like it's wild. the most amazing shit. I saw it on YouTube, and like this see, dude's world was beautiful. We see, so there's like mm-hmm. other there's means talent about out there, but they expose these people. Like so, yeah. just know that it's corrupt. Fucking yeah. world, just now. It's corrupting but everything. Yeah, like, so anytime you buy GTA or you know any so of these yeah, big like, games, when it comes to GTA Six, like we're gonna be waiting for a while because with, Still that whole, game. with the whole thing with HR and everything, so like they're definitely and trying to like cut down on crunch. They like Rockstar is gonna take a while to release GTA Six, so. which is fine. They just yeah. Which is, I mean, you still, as long as the I game mean, is amazing. I mean, you still have. I mean, you still have Grand Theft Auto Online that's doing super well. Yeah. yeah. The so, reason they take so long is because they put so much detail they do, into they do the put the, a lot the of hair strands to the the date like everything to the yeah. cars mm-hmm. like. Bro, their games oh, the stay being They can take as long as they want because I still haven't played Grand Theft Auto Five. Are you the serious? Cars. What? Yeah, he remember he said that yeah. in the other it's podcast. Been, it's been out since 2013. It was free for PC. Like, come on, man. It's so good. It's man. been out just, since 2013, bro. Like I said, it's a 50 game still. $50 think, game still. I think, yo, I'm yeah. you still I mean, unless, unless you buy it online. Unless you buy it on the um, I played, played every Grand Theft Auto game like probably up 30 until or 20. 4 since the third Listen, part. the customization oh. of cars, the way that they actually grab a car and they go, okay, this is a muscle car. It has torque, but it runs this way. Yeah. Yeah. They put they so put, much detail into a way the car runs, the, the torque, the, yeah. the, 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 the traction, everything onto that car. I'm, I'm go a, out. Yo. You just be like, what? You crash too, it's not like back in the day like when you crash too much in the car. Get, no. you, when you crash, anything. you see the dent 
of how it's supposed to look when it crashes. You, it like, takes some know. time. You trying to run away and you using your same busted up car. It be, like it's weird. Like I can't. I can't. Come on, Phil's <laughs> walking. Yeah. Yo, I trying heard. to turn that car upside down when it lands on a dish. No, how, how, <laughs> no hold on now. They made that a lot easier. No. Before, you, 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 said, you go turn, reverse and first. forward, yeah. reverse and forward, reverse and forward, yeah. and that's yeah. how you get it to. Yeah. And if and if and if you and if, and like Grand Theft Auto Four, if you if it's upside down, just get yeah. the fuck just, out. Yeah, just, just get, get out. Gonna, it's gonna you gonna blow? It's gonna blow up. You lost the car. If it's smoking, yeah, get the fuck out. Grand Theft Auto Five, they made it so much easier. If it turns upside down, just move the damn. Remember when you you couldn't swim in the water and now you can swim underwater. You still don't, I still don't swim in the water. They it. got sharks now. Oh, well, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. They got sharks. They got yeah. sharks. Now they got mountain lions. They got Bro, mountain lions in the man. fucking... I, got, so I was Ooh. yeah, I was just my mom's business just doing going hunting with um and whatever. And a mountain lion comes out. No, I'm like, what the fuck? You ever see you ever hear the rumor when San Andreas came out of Bigfoot in the woods? Yeah. <laughs> And bro, I spent hours Yo. trying to find fucking that. Bigfoot. You remember San Andreas hours. with the aliens? Got him. I oh, yeah. actually. <laughs> the aliens, yeah. You remember the aliens? Yeah. I actually got to that point where I found the aliens and they, I got abducted and shit. Like it was. I had that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did that. Yeah. I was like, I want to get abducted. Got the jet, Take me you got away. The jet pack? Yeah. yeah, I used to love jumping yes. out the airplane. Yeah, GTA Five was fire. I hate that first they have no, no, some of the cheats for for Grand Theft Auto Five was so funny. I don't be using cheats no but more. But they don't. They no, barely I know, have but cheats. I'm saying, like, some of the cheats, like you could just shoot a gun and it'll shoot cars and shit. Yeah, that shit yeah. Was so I, I missed that cheat where fly. like your car used to fly. fly. Every bullet, bullet is a car. Would be a car. <laughs> so you had a minigun, right? You could never use the minigun. That's what made this glitch or this cheat <laughs> stupid. Because you use the minigun and you shoot cars. cars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got like a million cars. You would blow yourself up instantly. It was so dumb. You'd be Dude. buried in cars. No, nah, imagine but that in cheat. VR. It's someone using a cheat in VR. That's what I'm saying. You blow you, you <laughs> fuck your head up. No, imagine. <laughs> yo, the cheat codes for San Andreas, there were so many fun. Like, yeah, yeah that, that is true. Hundreds of cheat codes. Yeah. Then you go to like GTA 5 and they limited the cheat codes. Or, G or GTA 4. Had, really no, GTA 4. Yeah. Had, it was so fun. I think you were, you're good with playing the game. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, like, so I just it's need just, the money. so much to do. The G cheat codes are more for free play. Yeah. You know, people just like to fuck like, around. Yeah, GTA like, 4, they had some cheat codes too, but a lot of the cheat codes was just like, oh, like some of it was like money cheat codes or like just car yeah. cheat codes. Cheat codes. Bro, like, you I, get whatever car you want. Yeah, I remember. Like, I would use well, they got, like, I think they got rid of them because of the mods. Right? It was chopper, yeah, mod, yeah. chopper code. You need yeah, the tank yeah. code. Yeah. All kinds of vehicle know, I codes. I memorized all the vehicle, yeah. like the money to be codes. Honest, and the, I probably nah, get five. No, with Grand Theft Auto 4, like, the cheat codes would actually stay. You in don't your even phone. need codes in 5, bro. I'll wait till 6, to be honest. Yo, play 5. Yeah. I play, play it, five. Play it. The story, I, I, the, the story, story alone is, yes. is fire. The story is super like, fire. Wait, after I always I play, said after I play a certain like series of a game for too long, like I fall off on nah. it to the point where I don't mm -hmm. want to play it. Nah. Like, just that's the same thing that happened to me with Assassin's Creed. I played from the first one all the, the way to the one with the listen, boats and the pirates. You even and have shit. where you choose after the that, alternate ending. Done. There's yeah, the, there's three so, endings. There's three mm -hmm. endings. There's yeah, three there endings. There's two different endings to a. Uh, four. But, well, yeah, with four. That's different, yeah, but though. this one, it, it, you don't understand. Dies. Like, I thought either your cousin die, or your girl dies. I got GTA Five. Like, like I pre-ordered <laughs> GTA Five, and like I literally said they should turn this fucking story into a fucking movie, and they thought about it for a minute, Bro, but they never right. did it. Bro, if and they I came hate out that with they never did it. They were thinking about it. They were going to, and they if they came out with a Grand Theft Auto movie, that would be Fast and the Furious. That's why they won't. Nah, I think it's not Bro. Like and the, piece them together. No, but like Fast and Furious is what, just the craziness that would go on in I don't that know. film versus Fast and Furious is just racing. No, Fast and Furious. No, well, not it was just supposed racing. to be racing. It was supposed no, to be. No, at, first, if, at first, yeah. the series was, it was racing. Now it's just, now it's just a bunch whatever. Of, but yeah, if you do a, a GTA shit. series, it's too it's, it's too goofy. You'd be wild. You got sprunk in there. You got all the cops. You have to have the cops be ridiculous off jump because they don't. They just pop off the moment. I feel like it'd be breaking. I mean, that's how it is now. Fast and Furious. That's how it is It would be a comedy. Yeah. It would be a comedy. It'd be like Reno 911. Nah, man. It'd be a comedy action. Nah, bro. It'd be like Reno no, that, and that would be, No, that, that would be if... I um. What other game is that? Because they, they Lester was funny as fuck. Oh, hell yeah. I could definitely and? see it being a no, comedy, I mean, but Lester's, I could see it being Lester's a full funny, action. But that's just because his personality. 
Especially yeah, but I'm saying that, that you're going to get that from it. Like, it's going to be the action that you need for with uh, uh, Black Oh, yeah, Saints Row. No, it, Saints Row would be like a... Um, Saints Row you know, trashed you know, after, like, they started going into space. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah after the second one, it was just, no. Yeah, that's the just second weird. one was just... No, the Saints second Row, one was good. Saints Row 3 was second, fine, after too. The second, after, after the second the third, one. Yeah, the, the third, third one, one was... Third I one didn't was, play the third one. See, that's his fault. Third one was fire still. Once they... Well, after the third one, it got weird. They niggas was coming back to life. Yeah, I didn't get, like get didn't out of like hell. Yeah, no, get thing. out of hell thing. Like, niggas going, yeah, they, I didn't like the good. whole alien like, thing. And, and yeah, like, no, I understand that. Like, they're saying Saint no, Rose Three was the last Saint, one. I understand Saint Rose. Like, that it does decent. have a serious moments, but Saint Rose is more of a funner version of Grand Theft Auto. That's what I'm saying. But it just got too they much. Wait, the fourth, y'all. the fourth one, they added like the, the weird Matrix talking, twist. Yeah. Talking about GTA games or GTA light games, you ever play True Crime? Hell yeah, bro! Ooh. True crime was fire. All right, so then, hold oh, on now, hold on now. Yeah. Throw back then, L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. okay. I just want to make sure that the tenth game. Yes, man. Yes, sure man. Know about dog. Oh, that, dog. Yeah. When it comes to my wife. Okay. Oh, this is the news I've been, I've been just, tripping. Just, no, wait. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. We got it. We got to listen to this. There is an upside down world proven by NASA. To exist in, a, yeah. in Antarctica. Have you heard the news? An upside down world. Upside yeah. Down what world? does this mean? Okay. Upside down in gravity. Like I have. No, 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 no. Up upside here. down world. Like if you watch Stranger Things and where that little boy got kidnapped and yoked or like, into the other world, or like he was like coughing up black mm. shit. Like wait, he was, wait. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. World's that, End. Oh, like type of oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Is it different? No, no, no. This is like different. Stranger Things. No. Okay, okay. It's like Stranger Things. Okay. So there's, a, like there's, there's a, a fat, ex- there's a, there's a exa- fat Kaneki out there. Yeah. Mm. It's the exact, almost world. similar, the exact anyway, opposite. So they, and there's so, a quiet Lisa out there? Yeah. <laughs> but NASA, NASA can prove that time moves backwards in this world. So they were looking for particles, Yo, right? So what had happened shit. was they were looking for particles out in space to prove some space shit about Big Bang. And come to find out that the interference that they were getting wasn't just interference. It was what they were looking for, and it was coming from Earth. And then they realized that this particle exists simultaneously with our universe, with another universe. So it's like the parallel universe that runs exactly right what next to ours. So like another dimension. But instead of time almost. moving forward, time moves backwards. So like we, I'm like 83 right now. Th- I did see. I did actually <laughs> see that. Fuck? Somebody posted that. <laughs> yeah. But you know they also f- like. Did you hear that NASA? Everybody heard this that NASA finally admitted to UFOs. Yeah, yeah. they've been said that shit, right? We all knew, we that, all knew like that. that they existed, but I'm just saying they finally actually. I think there's like, enough people that got raped by the aliens. Which is why no, think about right it. Which is why they're the right making space. Got adopted, and they're like, okay, the, <laughs> we need to stop. This, this is why they make the space force though. And I, like niggas need to be warned. <laughs> they, niggas joined that think it was a joke. <laughs> now they fucked when they were like, yo, hey, aliens are real. No, but Wait, imagine all the anybody. people in asylums. <laughs> imagine all the people in asylums right now, and they're watching TV, and they're like, "I fucking knew it, motherfucker." Yeah. Like they got. But I'm just thinking too. Like it, it hasn't been actually confirmed. We all knew this shit, but oh. they've never actually came out until this year. Yeah, that's actually true. Like nobody. They I were feel like, like no, I no, feel like there's no. just so much shit going on right now that they're just distracting. Yeah, yes. they're, they're just throwing shit out now, there remember, because people aren't gonna care. Yeah. Remember, give it you, to dude, no one cared nobody when they cared. said. When the Pentagon did that, no one. They're just yeah, like, Navy did, uh, it. and they were like, "All right, yeah, yeah, aliens like, are yeah. real." Okay, what the where's fuck the ever? vaccine? Like, yeah, we, yeah, I want to live, motherfucker. Like, where's the? Va- I don't care about aliens. Yeah, that's where's why we're trying to because live. Nobody, nobody's they're bringing out all the truths. Yeah, that's true. They're bringing all the truths basically while this coronavirus is happening. That's why people, like, that's people why only care about shit like that when everything else is good. That's yeah. why this parallel universe one's kind of like, huh. I care about them. <laughs> they're building like, a space So maybe task there's force. no coronavirus in this other parallel universe. They're right. building a you space. You feel me? <laughs> I'm down to go to space. Think about that, Don't though. Get the vaccine from them. They're building. It'd be, a f- it'd be a fat icy in a skinny game. Yo. <laughs> 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 like, what? No, but listen. They're building a space task force, right? We already knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, did you know that Steve Carell is actually coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Steve fucking Carell. show. The yeah. show. That he's coming up with like a a comedy version mm-hmm. of, of that Force. shit that right there, of like a space a space X or, or task force. My X boss actually like told that. me about that today. I think uh, was so it Elon, Elon Musk already announced that the sh- this NASA NASA and him are ready to do manned return ships, return yeah. trips. Yeah. So like we out here now, we out here in space. I'm ready. We to gonna go to see space. some Vulcans. 
I'm ready. I, I, I shit. Yo, I gotta ask you guys. I don't want it. July Fourth. Shit pops off. July Fourth. I wouldn't mind being a Power Ranger. I <laughs> yo. I just need a fucking mecha. I just need a big ass <laughs> transformer that I can. But get say no. Would you want to be a foot? You know, you know how much work you gotta do. You always working if you the foot. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I just need you to walk and kick once in a while. That's why, we gotta, that's why we gotta get. That's why we gotta get this shit. company moving fast because I ain't been. I ain't trying to be a bitch. F- yeah, son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, move <laughs> down there, nigga. You better move the feet. Pyramid Happy scheme. toes. Happy toes. This yep. girl. <laughs> I can't. And then who gonna listen to a floating head? Speaking <laughs> of, yo, speaking Probably. of, yo, I I gotta ask you guys. Right, I'm gonna fucking switch the subject up. What's up? Okay. I need to know what did you guys watch minutes. during quarantine? Because we can't ignore that we just came back from fucking oh, quarantine. Yeah. We just came back from a whole month, Honestly. month and a half, two I'm months of bullshit. Hiatus, man. All right, we're gonna start well, with Eugene. Go ahead. I mean, I've been watching a lot know. of stuff. You know, give, give us the main stuff. Give us the main. Some of the main stuff I've been watching, like I've yeah, been watching Hulu, like I've been in, in my nostalgia bag, you know, and I've been watching um <laughs> <laughs> my nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I've been watching. I've been watching Maybe. my life as a teenage robot on Hulu. Okay. okay. I've been rewatching, you know that and stuff. I, I've been watching. I've been rewatching some of Jimmy Neutron. I've been rewatching a lot of Nickelodeon shows. Went back. Yeah, a did. lot of Nickelodeon shows. I've been rewatching. Yeah. Andy's on yeah. Hulu. Hell yeah, they got a lot of Nickelodeon shows. And yo, Avatar: Last Airbender. Sign of Netflix. Yo, that was back to Netflix. That was like, yo, That took up a little yo, bit of my I'm, time. I'm this, not gonna lie. Saturday, I thought Sunday. I'm. Like when I saw the news, I'm like, okay, they've been saying this for so long. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not gonna believe it until it is on Netflix. <laughs> I will now. And I'm waiting sick. for Dragon Ball Z when they put all the seasons. All the seasons. Shit, that's a no, lie. All the no, seasons. Saying, that's they, a lie. They, they They're gonna cut shit off because Netflix does that with all yeah. the. Yeah. No, they, they don't put all. They, they either put the latest they or they the already beginning. Got some seasons on um, Hulu, but if they went all the way back to Dragon Ball, all the way back. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon Ball Man. Z. I will restart. Netflix. Dragon Ball? I will restart. I'll on Netflix? No. I know I missed something. Even, when, even if the coronavirus is gone by then, I'm in. I'm quarantining in you my ain't house. Seen me. You, ain't you seen mean, me. You mean Dragon weeks. Ball before Dragon Ball Z? Like the original? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still be like busy. Goku was friends I'm, I'm with at least having it on my phone they were training as little kids. Break. Uh, uh, I feel you on that. I might do that I gotta, too. I got to keep we going. Gotta, yeah, we, yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, yo, I would rather watch Dragon Ball all the way from the beginning than watch One Piece from the beginning. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Kaneki, what you was watching? Uh, watched all of Being Human, which was honestly a pretty good show. I had never watched it, mm-hmm, and then yeah. watched it. It was pretty good about vampires and fucking wolves and shit. Okay, it was pretty interesting. Twilight-ish. And then a bunch of different anime. Yeah, mm-hmm. catching up on Black Clover. Oh. Okay, there which you go. Which is getting really good. I told yes! you, nigga. Yes, yes. I, told yes! You, yeah. I don't go back on my shit where I said that Asta was a better, you know. Up and coming. He is. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yeah. it's okay to switch. It's okay, yeah. When you get new information, you, wrong, you switch come on up. It's Depending on, on the character development, Facts. they develop no, right, yeah. I'm going to still stick with Asta was way better Hell than yeah. Midoriya because coming up, like Asta grew up but into you, like what he's growing into now. But I'm saying though, Midori though, find out bad news now. Yeah, That's Finding true. about the fuck shit now. You still oh, haven't shit. seen oh, Naruto. Oh, my, you <laughs> <laughs> nah. Damn it! Yeah. I will Damn watch hundred Shippuden. animes in a row before I watch Naruto. I can you can't. Right wa- you have to. Uh, go, you have to get to Shippuden. I hate, bro. I hate going back to shit. I, I will eventually get to it, but I'm the judgment. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, also speaking of like, you was watching stuff. what? I was watching Totally Spies. <laughs> yo, 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 sleep yo. on it though. He's the so Alfred fire. when the Alfred looking motherfucker came in the fucking mirror like. Yes. Oh, come. Kolioko was that. I, I wanna, I'm about to get into that next. But I've never I have Kolioko. Kolioko, that was that show. That was that show. That virtual world, that was that show. And then the monsters Yo. that be showing up with some true scary niggas. Some truly, they be fighting some real shit. And I be like, boy, yeah, but Totally Spies is fire as fuck. Yeah, like, that's was, like sh- that's like Charlie's Angels. Son, it, like, was. Yeah, it really was. Ch- no, it, it was. It was a cartoon was Charlie's like Three Angels. of them, too. Mm-hmm. I seen th- and then uh, I've been watching Prometheus and Bob. Oh. <laughs> I did watch it when I thought yeah. about it. I did watch a couple of episodes. I, I, I had found a compilation. Oh, I was also rewatching some of Pow- Powerpuff Girls too. True. Oh yeah. I I didn't That's watch uh, Parasite. Rowdy Boys. Yeah. Rowdy. <laughs> that episode with the Rowdy Boys was so fucking funny. <laughs> um, Parasite and then uh, Eureka. Oh, that's, I did Eureka mm. on okay. Amazon. Lisa. Trip. 
Um, so I've been mostly on Hulu and Netflix. Yeah. I should have been watching animes, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna watch like live action for one. Give us, give us, give us some tidbits. Give us a couple. Of Fucking uh, Hollywood. Okay. Right. Have Hollywood. we seen it? Yeah. Hollywood was a good one. Uh, very emotional. Whatever. Uh, fucking an old series called United States of Terror where she has multiple um, personality disorder and she has Ooh. like four different fucking five I different seen characters. That. Mm. that shit was wild. Yeah. Nah, son. She be... Te- I, I she, she's a good actor. She won many Academy Awards because she was fucking a good... She's book once I read Nick. Yeah, she's a fifties housewife. Hats and anything. She, niggas be walking into her going, Claire. Yeah, she be I, fucking Claire. digital. Yeah, Who the fuck is Claire? Ass. I've it's, seen, <laughs> I've seen interviews of people that really got split personality. Right. That should be weird when they turn, when they switch. It is. Into it's their it's their exactly other like that. It's some crazy shit. If you watch United uh, the, United States of Terror, right? United States of Terror. Yeah, it it would d- but, depict that. Perfectly. Yes, Damn. and then there's this one show on Hulu that you guys. It's like a The Office, but with vampires. Oh, mm. that's literally the office that's full of vampire. It's called um, what, what, it? what we do in the shadows, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. like what we do in the shadows, something like really? that. Yeah. I have to watch. Oh, on, I gotta on watch that shit. On Hulu? I watch a bunch of other shit. This is on Hulu, but it's this on is Hulu? just the ones that kind of stand out to me. Yeah, on Hulu, yeah. we watch in the shadows, but it's literally the fucking office where they're interviewing. Like literally vampires. Oh, the style that they shoot. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. like an interview. It's like a documentary, That's and then it's like a, a vampire's style, fucking but, you know, yeah. yeah. Right. Gotcha. And it's weird as fuck. Yeah. That's dope. But something I kind of want to like bring up, you know, real quick. Like speaking of nostalgia and stuff like that. Like yo, what um what two K is going to do? They're going. They have a um, oh, a video game company. Yeah. The two K. Yeah. Two K yeah. Sports. Not not the sports. Or not the sports. It's um. Y'all, y'all, y'all played Mafia, right? Mm-hmm. Mafia, mm-hmm. Mafia 2, Mafia 3? Mm-hmm. Uh, I played the come, first two. Yeah. Ma- I played Mafia 2 and Mafia 3 mostly. 3 like, had the black dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good ass. It was good. Like, the gameplay was real, real like, repetitive, but the story the story, the story and fire. everything was pretty fire. They did, Is that the they one when you go to prison, too? Is that the yeah. one when you go to prison, you have to fight? No, you get into the no fight that's, that's, that's two. two, right? Two is when you go to prison. Yeah, two is rough. Two, right? Yeah, not. two is rough. I didn't like that. But, but like, th- I like the fact that I like the fact that <laughs> three had um. <laughs> we, we got we got five more minutes. <laughs> I like I like the fact that like, three somebody was open noticed world. Somebody pointing at the peaks. I like the fact that three was open world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two, was, two, it got two had me like yo like. It was linear. Like come on now, like just it was yeah. Very linear. But yo. 2K is gonna come. It's coming out with like the um, Mafia trilogy, where all three games are gonna. Uh, they gonna have all three games out, like, Damn. like, cause I think right now, Mafia Two and Mafia Three is available, and in August, Mafia One is gonna be available. Do you think that's well, Epic Xbox and Epic Games free game? Cause did you see the memes that they were throwing? That's like a GTA Five. There was like the the bottle toss mm-hmm. yeah. meme, and they put Epic. Throwing the bottle toss for GTA Five because because G- Epic now is throwing out like full good game yeah, choices free. for yeah. the free. For the free. Mm-hmm. So like if they're if that's coming out, that's already they're already done projects. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, and I saw t- recently that that's the next pending. Like it's in three days. It's gonna be dropping. Mm-hmm. I think I the think they're doing thing. that to get all eyes on them, and then they're gonna like. Bro, it's working. I you know, know what? I know that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give gonna a gem to the video game companies. Hopefully, they're listening to this episode. Um, a good gem for them would be uh, put that put advertisement since advertisement is kind of going away a little bit. Mm-hmm. Put advertisement in the video games. It, my uh, a company I used to work for did that mm. for a racing game. They put, put them in billboards the video in. You could still get your sale in, off in, of in that. The racing game. You still yeah. give the video. That would be kind of lit. Okay. Yeah. That would be lit. It'd be almost like TV. You still give it out. Maybe for, free, for example, but like two K or whatever. Like yeah. while they're not while they're actually playing, but while they're like kind of like They'll freelancing, little, little tiny free playing, like what? moving around. Not even. You have like the like utilize the the scenarios you have. Like, well, two K two K Sports yeah, does Jumbotron, that already. Yeah, 2K I does that though. Or like the beginning. Yeah, 2K no, does that 2K, up the ass. I'm saying, the game. I'm yeah, saying for all games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, game different game. I'm like, hold on. 2K Sports, real quick. Mm-hmm. They got that shit. Like, for example, you have like my player that you can start yeah. from mm-hmm. high school all the way to like NBA, yeah. and they got like where you get endorsements. Every time you play a game, you actually get to pick like you you build your stadium and you actually get to pick real live like like uh, Sprite like fucking or. Mm-hmm. You know, like whatever. Oh, so they do have that. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. Yeah. 
You just have to play world. it out right. You can't play it out to like, for example, somebody who's a true gamer. Like they, they don't want to be overwhelmed with fucking realism. The new gen in sales, the new generation doesn't be doesn't want to be overwhelmed with um, ungenuinity. They want to mm. everything yeah, but be genuine. Yeah, but put it in. Like if we're know. doing Call of Duty Warzone. Throw a Coke can in there, even though the war is like going I guess, on. Yeah, it's yeah. Ground, yeah. That ain't <laughs> nothing to you. True. The question but is though, like, like you saying the new, the new generation doesn't want to be berated. Me and you on YouTube know about <coughs> that LTE battery yeah, when, pack. When, I know when they're doing it to me. Yeah, they so, I don't know that if for everybody else's. But they've I'm been trying to sell me Lip Mobile no, for yeah. a Whoa, minute. I don't you know need it. 15 I know. episodes. I'm, like, I'm just dude, saying. I'm getting it. it. And you know, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> so not everybody wants. Show me. Yeah. And if it's fine, video. you're right. It's got to be genuine. No, like you I know said, a commercial. Like you said, a co like somebody throwing a coke in. Somebody, and like it's like a fucking war zone. But then there's like fucking billboard that's barely halfway, you know, built. And, and then there's like a fucking yeah, you could go there. That's fine. Or like if you trying to make a homemade silencer, use a coke can. Yeah. And that's fine. More genuine that's the point more genuine. genuine you, you can't just crazy? actually like stop a fucking thing yeah. for a, com a commercial on there like nobody I'm will fuck you know it. oh, no, no, like, 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 yo, bro imagine you, know you play like well, the way um, of this. selling shit to people now is so much different than how people used to sell shit back in the day yeah. and i could tell that with uh my manager because i'm the assistant manager at my you just store, gotta right? like yeah. But the way that I sell shit is way different than him. Like, he'll go on this whole fucking... Like, his sales will take him, like, 30 minutes. My mm -hmm. sales will take me, like, 10. Right. Because I, I cut, like, all the fucking bullshit, and right. I just let them know what the fuck they need to know. Right. Like, that's it. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to know any yeah. of the extra shit. This I've, is what been, you need I've to know. been in this sales for years. The phone cost is what the plan costs. Right. That's it. Genuinity. You, mm -hmm. you don't sell, you tell. Yeah. That's why I tell people, you don't sell, you tell. If you truly believe in it, or if you truly believe that it's a decent process, like, you just have to tell them... Is good as whatever. Like, don't, if you tell them, I'm gonna sell you this. Like, you know, it's not genuine. You have to just throw it in there randomly, and you just gotta make sure, you know, eventually somebody's gonna fucking like it. And yeah. you need a spark. Don't sell yeah, the product. Obviously. Spark. Sell the dream. You gotta believe. Yeah. <laughs> you, you sell the you guys dream. Will not that take a sponsor can. or an advertisement or anything when if people don't take the product. When yeah. people buy something, it's an emotional experience. Facts. They're exactly. not gonna. They could walk into a store, see something that they want. But just because you were a fucking dick, now they're going to go somewhere else and buy it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same with, like, uh, I, I'm a hairdresser. I do permanent makeup. I do all that mm -hmm. shit. Like, people, uh, even since school, and I thought they were just fucking around. I realized it's fucking true. 80% of people that come back to you is not because of your service. Or, sorry, not because of your uh, talent or what you can do. It's because of you and your service and your yeah. customer service. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. People will buy a mediocre product from they'd rather buy it from you that they love than the, somebody who is a dick, but their yeah. product is a little bit better. And that's what I people think need that to can realize. Cap it off right there. Y'all go ahead and give me some sure. social media right. handles. Yo. Hey. We're gonna be back, end on be the back, dick. Y'all catch me at Gabe's stomach. All social media platforms. Plus, I got new music video. New um, <laughs> music video. Is that mini penis, man? We still got the mini <laughs> penis. Around. Oh my god! Why do we I still have you. this tiny dick? Why I have no clue. Because she loves it. Don't don't tear your nails up. You, you need distract need a me. Thing to open that up. Why'd you why'd you seal can. him? Because you can't take you him out. Because you can't take him out. Taking him out and playing with it. That's not how you open it. D don't tear it up, please. No. I'll don't break just it. Just leave the yeah, tiny anyway. penis in there. I, I got <laughs> mini <laughs> cooking <laughs> videos of all like all the meals shaking. cooked in like uh air fryer. I cooked the whole meal in the air fryer. Yeah. yeah. So Ooh. if you wanna Oh damn. Yes. Yeah. No, watch, yeah. Show it to yeah. the world. Peep it. Show it to the world. Show it to the world. And watch out for more because we're gonna do a whole cooking show with Gay man. So the video's coming out soon. Cooking show with Gay stomach right now. We are. We've been cooking up some stuff for y'all since it's quarantine. Yes, we will do a cooking show again. Yo, we ain't. I've been leveling up like a motherfucker. Wait, just wait. I won't come out with some. Yo, we ain't just been everyone yelling. All scared, man. We've been working on this hiatus too. Go ahead and give me your social media. Nine Carnegie Nine on IG and Twitter. So follow me. I'll follow you back, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> He's not that rude. This is a true baby. No, right. Lisa? This is a true baby. Lisa? I've been looking at profiles. I lately. haven't done this, but Lisa. <laughs> but anyways, for real, my, my <laughs> shit is Instagram underscore Lisania. Okay? Snapchat Lisania underscore M. Okay? Follow me. Follow me for some weird shit. Eugene? 
This your boy Eugene, aka the Esoteric Child. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Esoteric Child. You know, we back, y'all. <laughs> also follow, also follow the team on TV Nerds. Right. Follow yes. us on Instagram on TV Nerds. Follow right. us on Twitter at e- T- TV Nerds Podcast. And yo. We back, y'all. Hey, and because, hey, hey, we're opening up with coronavirus, please remember to check out Tom Cool Comics. Cool Comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please check him out. Cool Comics and Games. Cool Comics and Games. Support them. Facts. Cool Comics. Tom Cool Comics. Make sure y'all go on to that EX3 Network. We call him Tom. Dot com. Shout out to EX3 Network. EX3 EX3 Network dot com. Um, Before we head out, uh, Inception, I was watching that. Oh, yo, it's been a minute. But yes, it's some crazy shit. It made me understand video even deeper. That's true. So I I got some shit in the bag to show you. And on that note. He's scaring me. Shit in the bag. I I don't know. That's good shit. (laughs) We out. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Yo.